everybody, Cindy here um, with Project Peaceful Warriors. Uh, this week we're going to be kicking off talking a lot about our feelings. Um, we're probably going into, a lot of us going into week four of quarantine, and so there's probably lots of different feelings that are happening um, inside of our bodies that sometimes uh, can be really hard to explain um, and to acknowledge and to know exactly and name it um, what feeling that we might be feeling. So today's lesson is going to be using um, a really awesome tool called Kimochis. It's K-I-M-O-C-H-I-S. And in Japanese, it means feeling. Um, so it's really awesome. Um, I have the Kimochi set here. But if you don't have the Kimochi set um, for this lesson today, we have this amazing poster that you can print off um, to use for our conversation today. So again, we're going to be talking about feelings. There's lots of feelings we have. There's happy feelings, there's sad feelings, um, icky feelings, comfortable feelings. Um, you may have heard them as comfortable versus uncomfortable feelings, um, but they're all what we have. It's what we feel. Um, so today, what we're going to do is if you don't have a Kimochi set like this, again, if you have a printer or access to a printer, print this awesome poster off. If you don't have access to a, a printer, then you could just use paper and write these feelings down. If you have markers, you could name different colors. Um, so happy feelings could be yellow. Uh, maybe icky feelings could be blue. Um, so get, get creative. But what you're going to do is I have cut up the different kimochis right here. So I've already cut them up. So you can see Blue is sad, there's a red frustrated, there's green, which is uncomfortable. But all the feelings that are on that poster, you're gonna just cut them up. And then you're gonna have two baskets. So if you look down here, I have two baskets, right? So if you have the Kimochi set as well, or if you want to make something like it, you can have the kids Right? So if you all sit down together, you can have the kids kind of dump it out. Right, Kids love to dump different things out and just toss them out. And then just talk to them about how you're going to be sorting your feelings. And again, feelings might be different from day to day. So here's the first one. You're going to sort feelings into feelings my body likes to have. Right, So I put a, the words. And then if you have a younger child, you can put the picture <clears throat> of a happy face. And then the other basket is feelings my body does not like to have. So I put a sad face. You might put a frowny face. And then you're just going to dump out your feelings. So I'm going to move these pillows out of the way for now. And we'll use the paper one. So I've got them all cut up here. Toss them out. And then just maybe one at a time. And this is for the whole family, whoever lives in your house, your partner, your dog, whoever, um, for you if you live alone. And just begin to have that conversation around what you're feeling. So the first one that you might pull is kind. So think about kind. And you can have a whole discussion about what kind means. And then you can decide, or that person, whoever picks this one, decides if it's a feeling that they like to have in their body or if it's a feeling that their body does not like. And then you just begin to sort. So I like to have that feeling in my body. I like to feel kind, not just to myself, but to others. Maybe right now, especially, there's people showing kindness to your neighbors. And then let's see, the next one could be frustrated, right? So a lot of times we hear mad. Well, there's another word for that. Sometimes it's frustration. So you can decide, is that a feeling that I like to have in my body? Or is that a feeling that I don't like to have into my body? So I might sort that one right here. And then again, just talk about all the different feelings and what they each mean. And then you can even have a whole discussion about how your body language, how it affects your mind, how it affects your spirit, how it affects your breath. Um, yeah, and it's just a really awesome tool, especially kicking off into this fourth week, to really explain and acknowledge and name a feeling that we're all having. Um, we really hope that this can um, bring some joy to your family and to just have an activity that you can all do together. Um, again, it is Kimochis, 
And if you don't have the poster, it's in our community resource file, which you can find linked in our bio. And then again, you could even just start to cut these out and sort them or just start to think about the feelings that you guys and everyone in your household is feeling. All right, thanks so much. Everybody have a great day. Bye.